and graphic extras. In this video I'm just going to show you that you can use the history brush to apply different snapshots of effects in Photoshop. And I'm just going to go now, obviously just select the history brush at this point, but key thing, just go over to say a filter and I'm just going to go to filter. I'm just going to select a couple of filters. So blur, that's the first one I'm going to use. And it's going to be quite a high impact blur. Click OK. Key thing, save it as a snapshot. New snapshot. I'm just going to give it a name, blur. Now just go back. I'm going to go for an image adjustment and I'm just going to go for black and white. Click OK. Again, another snapshot. BW and back to the flatten image again just before the effect. Now I'm just going to go to filter and an artistic one, poster edges. Click OK. New snapshot. And I can give that name poster. OK. Right, so I've actually done all those. I'm just going to go back to the flatten image. Now I'm going to select obviously the history tool, that's the key thing, history brush, and I'm just going to click one of these side little bits here, little side buttons here, I'm just going to apply a blur. So just quickly apply that blur, but that's dark in colour, that's not so much use, so I'm just going to put it onto normal, just apply the blur, and just quickly blur the hair. That's the key thing for that. Now, instead I'm going to click the poster now, and I'm just going to quickly apply it, so give it a bit of an edge around there, and maybe decrease the size a bit. Just, obviously you can, depending on how you actually want to apply it, you can apply it different places. Now, a black and white. Obviously, just clicking that, I've actually destroyed the effect. I don't want that. I can actually just quickly go back back to the history brush, what I want to click is there. Okay, just click that and now I can just apply the face. Okay, just carefully do that. And there you have it. You basically can apply obviously multiple effects, very quick and easy, just to a local area in Photoshop using the history brush. Hope you found this tutorial of interest.